I remember there's a time I had a lot of breakouts and then everybody is asking me, oh, what's happening to your face? Oh, you have so many breakouts. And then now my breakouts were, my breakouts were due to stress. So now when, and then now people started stressing me now about having breakouts. So now I have breakouts due to stress and then now people are stressing me because I have breakouts and then I'll break out more. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so funny. Hi guys, how are you doing today? So this is a very interesting video because I love beauty. I love taking care of myself. I love to look good. And today it's about self-care because when you take care of yourself, you feel good, you're confident, you know, you ready it, you have good vibes. And today we're talking about my skincare routine, how to take care of your skin. I really take care of my skin and I believe it's important to take care of your skin because it's like you're protecting your skin from sunburn, from allergies, from different uh, kinds of things. You also you're also saving money because you don't want to keep going to a dermatologist over and over again but however if you have uh, acne you have serious breakouts please seek medical help go see a dermatologist i have very sensitive skin i have sensitive skin there's a time i had crazy breakouts uh, like you see i still have scars from from the, the breakouts that was like four years ago three four years ago i went to a dermatologist and then after that uh that's when i learned the importance of having a skincare routine that is what i'm talking about today so i have dark circles under my eyes especially when i'm dehydrated when i'm tired when i'm stressed you know they always show i have kidogo i didn't sleep well i was busy editing and doing a few things but yeah uh overall i think my my skin looks good at this point i have a mark here so i'm sure you might be wondering what's up this one it's um uh, i got hurt when i was i think like 10 years less than 10 years so it's been here forever so i have my skincare routine so i usually start with a toner i have a serum i have a moisturizer and i have a sunscreen so i will start with a toner for me i have normal skin my skin is normal skin type but it leans more towards the oily side so i find that sometimes i can be oily around my t-zone so before i start this video i had already showered and i use dove soap to as a cleanser that's what i use even for my body i can i use the the shower gel but i also have the soap and then i, ha I usually put it uh next to my sink in case i just want to wash just my face so um so like i've said i have oily i have normal skin normal skin but leans more to the oily side so my t-zone sometimes gets a bit oily i also have big pores sometimes when you have uh when your skin is a bit can when you when you have skin that's a bit oily sometimes you get pores and then they have to white things so the most important step for me during my skincare routine is my toner so i usually use the allison rose water toner i i, I love rose water as a toner uh it's usually like a hundred bob like that's like one dollar so it's really nice but when i went to buy the last time it, i didn't find it at the supermarket where i went i went so i bought this mizizi rose water so if you're not going to use a toner please use cold water after showering i cannot shower with cold water you guys i would die in the shower like i i would never even try i'm scared of cold water in the shower so uh when i shower i usually just go to my sink and just do this with a bit of cold water because it closes down the cold water closes down the pores you know our skin is elastic and also uh so if you're not using a toner please do the cold water after taking a, a warm a hot bath or a hot shower also use a toner a toner is really important for me so it can, it can close down the pores so my skin can stop being too oily and it also helps to balance the ph i stop i stop having like different skin tones sometimes you find that it's a bit darker here it's a bit lighter here it helps to even that out so this is my toner it's from mizizi it's rose water from mizizi i'm, I'm sure they look inverted because i'm using my phone and i've put the video on selfie mode so this is mizizi that's mizizi uh, it's really nice I just spray like that and also on my neck so guys everything you do to your face you have to do to your neck and then i just touch it like that yeah so under my eyes and then all over my neck so it's cold and it's nice you feel really refreshed and really really nice i did microblading that's why my brows look really like they are made but they're not made i did it like in 2019 i probably need to go for a touch-up for repair whatever they call it i haven't gone yeah so i've done a tone i feel so good like i can feel them um, like because it's cold like it's 
ah, it's refreshing. It, like it's calming my face down, maybe closing down the pores. <laughs> so after my toner, I use a serum. A serum is really important. I use Dr. Organic, Dr. Organic Snail snail gel i don't know if you can see dr organic snail gel something something so dr organic snail gel is really really nice i was using a serum from lancome lancome products are very expensive but they really work if you have money please buy lancome products so i, I was using lancome but at some point uh, i was like hey i can't get anything more affordable then now i came across dr organic snail gel facial serum by the way you guys disclaimer no one has paid me to do this no any any company like skincare company has paid me this is what i use every day so so this is dr organic it's snail gel it's it's made of snail secretion filtrate yuck aloe vera rose fruit oil moringa avocado oil it's vitamin e it's really this thing worked for me i have sensitive skin like i've said i have never gone for a facial i don't go for those things i just trust myself because i'm i've lived with my skin forever i know it better than anybody else yeah so so this is what i'm gonna use just a uh, just one press yeah i think just one press it's not much actually it's because it looks like it's spread a bit and then i just do it like this and then i do my neck so don't apply your makeup like this you you apply like you tap and you take and you take off so it's easily absorbed when you just tap like this yeah and then whatever you do to your face you have to do also to your neck so you can look the same Cynthia, you don't have nice skin on your face and your neck looks like somebody else's <laughs> yeah so it, yeah it feels nice it, it feels like a bit sticky but it's nice after a while it just absorbs completely you see i'm, I'm looking nice as i continue you see my dark circles dark circles under my eyes sometimes i use collagen someone raquel recommended it to me but i don't like to use things too much things i'm not sure about and then five years down the line i'm here crying they did things to my eyes and you know i don't want to get wrinkled so i try to sleep enough i try to take a lot of water i also like vegetables on some days i just tell my housey or i just decide you know what i'm just having a bit of garlic and greens full stop sometimes i love greens i love taking water and i have really you guys i have really worked hard for my skin i have really worked hard even my sister has sensitive skin i don't know what's up now my generation like my genetics yeah, but my mom has really good skin. So, so I've done my serum. After the serum, I do my moisturizer. I use Lancome. This is uh, the last moisturizer I have remaining. It's almost over. As you can see, this is Lancome. is really pricey. So, I just take Kidogo. Just a bit. Lan Lancome is really pricey, but it is so good. This thing healed me after my... So, just a bit. Then I spread it like this. And then I just do the like I've done. Then also on my neck. Also on my neck. So, so moisturizer, please make sure you apply it under under your eyes. Just do a bit of under my eyes like that. Then I just big to moisturize, you know. So yeah. So the reason I take a lot of water is because of my dark the dark circles under my eyes so if you guys have a cure or something you use and please if you're if you're not sure of it or if you're just selling products that you don't use please don't come down here to start telling us try this and you don't use it you're just there out here to make money like i've said no, no one has paid me to do this video i'm just doing it as part of skincare so this is my routine every day so lancome can be pricey this one uh, i send my relatives who lives in the states my parents live in the states so i keep selling my sending my mom to buy it for me in the u.s it's 50 dollars. that's five thousand bob kenya shillings over here it's double that so i try not to buy over here so this is called lancome it has it has eyelash glue let me first peel the, the lash glue <laughs> so it's called lancome Hydra Zenua. I'm, I'm not, I like this French thing, you guys. So it's anti stress moisturizing night cream. It's a night cream. You can use it during the day so long as you're using sunscreen. Uh, my day cream, uh, my day moisturizer uh, is over. I don't have it anymore. 
and this thing is expensive you can't go buying it so anti-stress lancome you see how it, what it looks like anti-stress moisturizing night cream it's really nice you see like the, i've done it just now and my skin looks like a better than I, the way i started so i moisturize it i feel good taking care of your skin is amazing so this is what i do every day you guys even when i come home i i don't have those skin types where you just sleep with makeup and your skin looks okay or you don't care what you use on your skin and you're fine and i sometimes when i see people like that i like i envy you guys like you don't have to do so much but your skin still looks amazing i wish i was like that so that's me after the moisturizer and then i do sunscreen you guys sunscreen is so important so you stop having dark patches you know we're africans and when you you the sun falls on you sometimes it's too cold like now we're in july it's the cold season sometimes it affects your skin sun sunscreen protects your skin from the sun's rays from this the weather from whatever is happening around uh yes it controls your face and your neck it's really good this is what i use it's called bio balance back to nature it's like 1000 1500 shillings 1500 shillings uh, i buy actually like this one i bought it i have a friend of mine who works at linton's village market vicky she's one also who sold to me the first set of lancome it was really expensive but she also gave me some some goodies to try before i could buy so please use sunscreen always use sunscreen so this is what i use but then my mom came to visit and she forgot hers oh it looks really nice mine is 30 spf hers is 70 because she she lives in the states maybe she needs it to uh you know like to cover completely and to really she's also not very young so this is what i've been using so i just do a bit of i don't know where i'd kept it the other way yeah just keep talking just a bit Sometimes I overdo these things. Sometimes I put them too much. So we're doing sunscreen now. We're doing a bit of sunscreen also on the neck. I put a bit too much. Sometimes I'm usually like that. I don't know what's usually long, wrong with me. At times I do my and I do my my forehead. You know my teeth on. Probably. Yeah, so my, my hair is crazy, you guys. I'm trying to grow back my hair. It's natural. I've done a bit of cornrows, but they are worn out. Because I'm not very good when it comes to natural hair. Like, I can't wait to texturize it. Man, I can't deal with this pain. Natural hair pain. So I've done my sunscreen. I look so good. Today, I'm not doing my makeup because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just at home. I'm replying to emails. I have a Zoom meeting. So I'm not going to go out of my way to put any makeup. This is how I look after my skincare routine so now i'm ready to conquer the day i'm ready to make that money oh my god my, some neighbors are knocking all over i don't know who that is so yeah that is this is basically my skincare routine at night i do the same thing i try as much not i actually don't sleep with makeup if if i'm too tired or maybe i'm from an event i'm too tired i just want to sleep i usually just take off my makeup and just uh take a a, a cold like a cold face towel and just remove the excess of it i because my face breaks my face reacts even when i'm stressed when i'm not eating well when i'm not taking water you can tell it from my skin but right now it's actually looking really good so i have had done a facial three days ago that's why i've not done a facial today i will show you what how i do my facial like in three weeks time because i usually normally do it like once in three weeks i can do a, a mask and then the scrubbing and then the steaming then now i do again my skincare routine yeah so this is what i use this is vaseline lip therapy this is aloe vera flavor this is what i use for my lips you know to soften to rejuvenate for softer lips ah uh, yeah so i use vaseline this vaseline you can find it in supermarkets at the at the counter at the cashier section or at their beauty section in supermarkets mm. that's it for my skincare routine like i've said i use my toner this step is really important for me to close down the pores since i have an oily t-zone and then i use my serum the dr organic snail gel this is like 25 dollars 2500 kenya shillings and then i have my lancome moisturizer it's actually pricey but it, it has lasted me for like a year this my mom brought me this in august no not august november last year and we're in july so it's almost a year old it's lasted for me 
me forever and then i have my mom sunscreen uh which she forgot i am i don't know if she's realized she forgot it here but if if i'm not using this one i use this spf this sun sunscreen from biobalance back to nature sun protection facial cream it's like a thousand five hundred bob so after i do this process i now put on my makeup so this is my daily routine. This is what I do every day. Please let me down at the comment section below. Let me know your skincare routine. What's a must for you. What I need to do maybe for my dark, for the dark circles under my eyes. Uh, what helped you heal your acne. Acne and how your skincare journey has been. How your skin journey has been. Mine is at its best right now yeah it's like i'm glowing i look really good but it can be crazy it can you know i really have to protect it so also for the skincare experts please let me let me down at the comment section if you use if you're selling things and you're selling bleaching stuff and such things please don't do that only talk about things you've used and things that work and also that also some natural things people do like aloe vera like honey and those things if you use some of those natural concussions and they work for you please let me down at the comment section self-care is really important love yourself love your skin uh be there for yourself take care of yourself and remember you are the most important person in your life thank you so much guys for watching it's been real i've enjoyed doing this i love looking good i love feeling good and i really always you guys things i talk about here are things i do i practice every day i always take care of myself and of my skin otherwise if i didn't i'd be walking around here uh looking something else and you know skin brings you confidence the first thing you see when you look at someone is their face so it's really important to really take care of your skin. I understand there are people who have acne issues, who have been diagnosed by acne, but at the same time, there are things you can do to control it. So seek help. If you have acne, you have breakouts, you don't know where they're from, they're stressing you, please seek help. I remember there's a time I had a lot of breakouts and then everybody is asking me, oh, what's happening to your face? Oh, you have so many breakouts. And then now my breakouts were, my breakouts were due to stress. So now when, and then now people started stressing me now about having breakouts. So now I have breakouts due to stress and then now people are stressing me because I have breakouts and then I'll break out more. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so funny yeah so take care of yourself really take care of yourself take care of your skin uh, it brings that confidence it protects your skin from outside interference from allergies from all those things so it strengthens your skin it gives this it, it gives your skin immune really to like a shelter or like a shield i mean like a shield to be able to shield itself from different different you know things that would attack the skin so thank you so much guys i wish you all the best let's meet down at the comment section